Good morning and welcome to ProtoMotive. We've done a lot of our stage four twin turbo crazy turbo systems, but figured we'd do a close up look at one of our lesser systems. A stage one, this one happens to be intercooled on the side 911 3.2 Carrera turbo system. So fun aside, let's take a look at this. And here is our stage one on the side intercooled turbo system for an 84 to 89 3.2 Carrera. Yes, this is once again our ugly mock-up engine, the one with the hole in the block. Sorry for that. Hey, buddy. Well, it's buddy. He, he wants to help, I think. This system is capable of running at approximately 10 PSI of boost on 93 octane and bolt-on configuration on the US models with 9.5 to 1 compression. This particular one, we're running a journal bearing and even though we run ball bearing turbos on a lot of these this one happens to be a t3 t4 approximately 550 horsepower capable turbo so a little overkill for this but if the customer decides to do a teardown lower the compression to 8.8 uh, run 0.8 bar on this so you can run a stage 2 configuration or we've even run these with a 3.3 liter on the side configuration even though we generally start going larger turbos at that point and a lot of people are going twin turbo at that point anyhow you can see it's a relatively a simple configuration it's kind of a half of a twin turbo but we're using the factory heat exchangers. Not sure we can see this. There we go. Factory heater boxes going into the J2, which plums out to a wastegate. Comes into the turbocharger, plums right back into the stock exhaust system or whatever kind of aftermarket performance exhaust system. We can provide mufflers if you'd like for even more performance with the stock muffler these produce about 335 horsepower crank uh, versus 214 stock a little bit better exhaust system on it they end up producing about 350 if we do these with the turbo in the rear in the 930 location which would be down in here the heater system needs to be reconfigured but will run equal length headers with equal length headers the stage one will end up producing about 375 horsepower those are all non-intercooled with intercooler these will end up running about 410 crank horsepower these are all running on the stock dme this is plumbing through the stock airflow meter sorry we don't have it on there yet we will have a three inch replacement boot for any of the higher boost systems for a stage one it'll still work with that we do have uh, in the bag we have the 25 mil and 12 and a half mil hose plugs that are in the going here and here to plug off so we're not pressurizing the oil tank we've got a couple extra gaskets in here as well as the springs to work with if you need to change the boost the oil feed is coming from the back of the block in the 930 location using a 3 a.m. line into the turbo and then draining back into the lower valve cover so it uses a gravity drain into the lower valve cover going into the oil drain back tubes uh, we typically have the customers will send us their side tin so we'll trim out the side tin to fit neatly around the turbocharger make this a plug and play we also have them ship us the lower valve cover so we can put the drain back will drain back in place. They will also send us their airflow meter. This one we've got studs in it and we also turn it, turn a receiver groove on that for the boot to stay on. I'm putting these together, got a couple of our uh, dual rate regulators going together. Using the OEM regulator as the base. We've still got to make the pistons and we've got the Viton diaphragms going in and the, the hose kits going on. I uh, just need to cut a couple pistons to put in these to finish these off. So we get the nice little protomotive on there. Other than that, he'll pull the lid off his ECU, get us a software number, 
uh, so we can produce a chip for them. And with uh, the chip, the regulator, stock injectors, we're good to go on this. And these are very often put together in a DIY situation. At home, you can put it together over the weekend. A uh, real fun kit, a nice 100 horsepower boost, minimum. Up to, you know, at this one's going to be picking up a 185, 190 horsepower, almost 200 with the intercooler on there. Uh, hopefully he's got 93 octane, otherwise 91 octane. We'll have to drop the boost down two pounds to accommodate the lower compression ratio. We have done them with Euro pistons, similar situation to the lower octane. We'd have to lower the boost a little bit in the bolt-on applications, uh, but uh, any of these systems are applicable to move from stage one to stage two to stage three. We provide enough uh, turbo on there for that. Actually, this, this turbo is a little small for a stage three, but again, stage one, stage two, no problem. You can replace it. The next kit, uh, we've got a pretty fun turbo going together. We're using a G3770 on that one. And it's going out to a, a firm that's going to be Moteking uh, 3.2 Carrera. So on that one, back here, rather than plumbing into the airflow meter, we'll run it around, put a, a coupler or Wiggins clamp or something here, and then plumb it directly into the throttle body. Uh, the last one we did, we actually had an e-throttle on there uh, for a MoTeC. We'll probably do the same thing on this uh, 997 Turbo 74 millimeter throttle body. We'll actually bolt right on to the 3.2 career intake with that bolt pattern. So that's kind of fun. Then you can uh, run MoTeC. We'll go ahead and we'll plumb the intercooler directly into the throttle. If you want to run an e-throttle or a standard throttle, we're happy to accommodate that on any of the higher boost systems. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll place blow-off valves. Well, actually, we'll, we end up hanging the blow-off valve right down here. They generally fit real nice and hanging off the back of the intercooler. Makes for a real easy install, nice package. And again, this is the stage one on the side, plus intercooler Avail available on our website. Sorry, I'm tripping all over stuff down here. Chainsaws, it's winter time. Anyway, these do require a turbo wing minimum. Uh, this one is using a 930 turbo tail on a turbo four speed. Oh, hi, Keenan. This one's a 930 turbo wing using a turbo four speed. So we've had to move the intercooler rearwards about an inch to accommodate for the engine being scooted rearward in the chassis with the turbo four speed. The next one, there you've got a G50. The engine is forward one inch, so the intercooler can move backwards one inch to accommodate that. If you're running a Kramer wing, DP wing, extended wing, any of those, the more the merrier, the bigger the wing, the better. These cars absolutely love big intercoolers. Performance just keeps improving with more intercooling. The ducktails, it is possible to cram them in there. You are going to compromise the efficiency and lose power. So if you want the, the ducktails, you may want to build more into the engine because we'd end up wanting to run less boost on a ducktail style system. But you now we can build these up to 3.5, 3.6. Can go bigger, but you know, on the earlier stud spacing, it doesn't work out all that great. So the stage one 911 84 to 89 on the side intercooled we do get asked quite often can i put this on my 911 sc only reason you can't put it on your 911 sc well, well a couple reasons is you don't have 3.2 career intake so you take your cis system off you put a 3.2 career intake on there you can either put the OEM 3.2 DME with uh, software on there, or these days you can run a Haltech, a Motec, a Zyvex, a AM Infinity, a, a Megasquirt. There's so many options out there. You can do whatever you'd like with that. But then, yes, you can run it on a 3 liter SC engine, 930 turbos. If you bolt the 3.2 career intake to it and open up the, the intake ports to match with uh, 3.2 cams, all of a sudden those things, even at 0.8 bar, are now producing 520 horsepower. At a bar boost, they're over 600 horsepower. Really make a huge, huge difference in the power. But all it takes to do that on 930 is the 3.2 career intake and the fuel management. And then away we go. All our turbo systems will fit the SCs and 3.3 turbo. As long as we get rid of the CIS, that's a huge limitation on those engines. And especially the 3.3 turbo manifold. It's got the horrible distribution versus the career 
manifold is very nice. The 3.3 turbo intake has very small ports, very small cams, just uh, not performance oriented. Uh, whereas going to this, all of a sudden the, the engine breathes so nicely and produces the power very easily. So just a quick video just to, to show you what we're doing and what's going on. A little behind the scenes look here and we'll pack this up and get it off to the customer. And I'm sure he'll have a very Merry Christmas this year. Thanks for watching.